Hello, Dan Se. My name is Russ Morasti, and I'm the Lieutenant Governor of Saskatchewan. I want to thank Commissioner Bernard for inviting me to share a story. I was born and raised in Laurent, Saskatchewan, and I grew up speaking Cree. I will be sharing a story that was written and illustrated by people from my home community, and you will hear me reading in Cree. The book is entitled, When We Had Sled Dogs, A Story from the Trap Line. It was written by Ida Trombley, a respected local elder who recently passed away. And her co-author was Miriam Kerner, who was also the illustrator for the book. I want to thank Your Nicholsworth Publishing, as well as the author and illustrator for giving me permission to read their story. When the geese gather for their long flight south and the last summer tourists leave the fishing camp, it's time to say goodbye to our summer home. Now, big, sit down. Keep it the week. Hush, Dad says, as he picks up the sled dogs from Dog Island. Travel safe, Auntie calls as we wave with paddles raised high. Across the big lake we paddle, bags of flour, sugar and tea, wriggling puppies, and Nochum, my grandma too. We all go north in our big canoe. How many sleeps until we are home, I ask. Nian and Tipiskau. Five nights, mother says, dipping her paddle into the lake. Kigachi, kitagusina now, my little sister asks. Are we there yet? Kigat, almost, Nokum replies as we carry our packs across the last portage. When we arrive, there is no time to play. There's wood to be cut, cranberries to be picked, rabbits to be snared, and the cabin roof needs fixing too. At Toskig, Hawasasag, get busy, children. We butts weep it pun. Winter will soon be here, mother calls from the cabin door. When the lakes begin to freeze, we walk across the bay and gather grass to make the dogs a bed of hay. Hey, quoi? Let's go, my brothers say as they pull their little sleigh. When the land is white with snow and the animals wear their winter fur, it's time for dad to set the traps. A pig, stay, he tells the dogs while he prepares the beaver traps. When Christmas nears, we pack gifts for auntie in town. Needlepoint design turned flower bags into fine tablecloths and aprons too. Dad loads his furs to trade at the store for flour, oats and sugar. Gee squa, wait, mother says. Don't forget the tea. The northern lights are dancing when Dad returns from town. Merry Christmas. My older sister gets a sewing kit. The little one loves her new doll. And me? That's a secret. But it's made from fine nylon and lace, and I'm as happy as can be. Dad saves the best for last. Japanese oranges, frozen hard, and a tiny music box that makes us all dance. All winter long, Dad checks the traps. Mom scrapes the hides, and us children, we have our own trap line now. Look, a rabbit. Now Nochum will make a stew. We play at the shore when the eagle returns to the riverbank, hoping to steal the otter's catch. Be careful where you play, mother warns. We Breakup is on its way. When the lakes are free of ice, it's time for dad to work as a fishing guide. Once more, we pack the big canoe. Goodbye, my cabin. 
I will see you again come fall. Hello, my children. How you have grown, Auntie says when we reach the shore. Be mini quick tea. Come in for tea. Later, we'll set up your tent. Across from summer camp, a Timominstuk waits for the dogs to return. Good night, my big puppies. Tomorrow I'll bring you fish. You can rest now, but when you hear the geese gather for their long flight south, you know we'll be going north again. <laughs>